Now I'm going to show you how to actually create a new menu and I'm going to do one right now. And these features are available for all the menus, so I'm going to create a blog menu. I'm going to call it the blog menu anyway. I create create menu. And now I've created the menu, now I can add things to it. So I'm going to start with the blog categories. So I just select which ones I want from the blog categories and click add to menu. And you'll notice that these have been added to the menu. Okay. But, and I can actually drag and drop these in the order that I want them. I could even have them as subcategories or ch children is what we call them, ch a child of the parent. So that would be the parent and that would be the child. But you should really follow that if you've got child of uh, children categories, you should just follow the, the, the script from that rather than making confusing anybody. Now I'm not going to add this to any site, I've already got menus. I'm not going to add this to any uh, part of my site. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a custom menu. And I'm going to do something a little bit special here. I'm going to add that. Now, under the screen options, I'm going to make sure that link target is, is, is selected. Because I want to link this to an external website. So I select open link in a new tab or window. So I've created a custom link that isn't a page or a post, but I've just created that. Then I'll save the menu. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to add that to a widget area. So I'm going to select the widgets. And remember, I called that menu uh, the blog menu. So I'm going to go to the, pri uh, to the primary uh, menu area. I'm going to select that. I'm going to drop that at the top there. And I'm going to call that the blog menu. Now, I'm going to save that. And then when I go here, there you go. I've created a menu for, for the blog. That's how easy it is. And you can put them, you can put that in your footer. You could put it on, on a certain page. So for instance, if you had a services and then sub items underneath it, you could under on the on the sidebar. You could have services and just the, the items in the services section. And that's it. So that's how you create a, a, a menu and how you add it to a widget area. It's quite simple. I'm going to remove that now. Uh, it's quite simple to do. Okay, so let's go back to the menus and go for a bit of a refresher. So you can have menus and all your menus are stored here. You can have multiple menus and it's good to have those. And then you can add the items to your menu and you can drag and drop them in the order you want. So you add them by selecting here, and then add them to your menu. And then you could, then once they're added to the menu, you could drop them in to certain areas and have different children. You can even have a child of a child of a child. You know, you can keep going. You know, you can go and keep, keep going, but obviously that will look ridiculous. Um, but anyway, that's basically how you control menus. And look, at, you always check the screen options to make sure that all the things are, are, are ticked for the, all the features that you want to have. Like I would never have a tag, I'd never have a group, I'd never have uh, posts. Um, that's it. Now, the more you learn about WordPress, the more you can do. You can even have, you can even do CSS options and, and have different classes so that menu item looks different than the other ones. But that's a, that's a, a, a not for beginners. <laughs> okay, so that's uh, the WordPress menus.